And so your journey has led you here. We've spoken of three kings, Nebuchadnezzar the mighty, Balthazar the foolish, Darius who was deceived. Who is this fourth king? It is he of whom these scrolls speak. It is one chosen by the Most High to perform great and mighty deeds. Before he was ever knitted in his mother's womb, Hear then, O king, the words which were written more than 150 years ago. For these are the words of the prophet Isaiah, son of Amun. From the east, I summon a ravenous bird of prey from a far off land to fulfill my purpose. What I have said, I will bring about. What I have planned, that will I do? A bird of prey. The Lord's chosen will carry out his purpose against Babylon. His arm will be against the Babylonians. He pursues them unscathed by a path he has not traveled before. True. I've never saw the regions of the Euphrates or further westward until I came in conquest. And yet you chased your enemies uninjured. They had no power to rally. You were not led into ambush. And you were safe as far as you chose to pursue them, were you not? Yes. This is what the Lord says to his anointed. Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold. Cyrus? It mentions me by name? It does. To Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of to subdue nations before him and to strip kings of their armor, to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness, riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord, God of Israel who summons you by name. And when you captured Babylon, their treasures were the richest in the world, were they not? Oh, indeed they were. And Croesus will testify. Yes, quite the most magnificent. O oh, king, if I may, please continue. Cyrus, for the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen, I summon you by name and give you a place of honor. Though you do not acknowledge me, I am the Lord. I will strengthen you, though you have not acknowledged me, so that from the rising of the sun to the place of its setting, men may know there is none beside me. I am the Lord. There is no other. And do you understand that the Most High has the power to raise up kings and to throw them down? Yes, I do. I profess it. And that you, O oh King, like a polished arrow, hidden in the quiver of the Almighty, carefully preserved for its day of use. Yes. I was to explain my unlikely birth, or my survival, or succession. How else might it be explained? All my life, I had always thought of myself as favored by my gods. Is it possible that I've been favored by yours? You have answered your own question, O King. For nearly two centuries, the message in this scroll has awaited your coming. This is what the Lord says. I am the Lord who has made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread out the earth by myself, who foils the signs of false prophets and makes fools of diviners, who overthrows the learning of the 
wise and turns it into nonsense. Who says of Jerusalem, it shall be inherited. Of the towns of Judea, they shall be built. And of their ruins, I will restore them. Who says of Cyrus, he is my shepherd. And I will accomplish all that I please. He will say of Jerusalem, let it be rebuilt, and of the temple, let its foundation be laid. He who calls me a shepherd, I who is saved by a shepherd's hand. I was raised in a shepherd's house. It's I who refer to myself as a shepherd of my people. Who else could have known this? The power of God or his prophet? Seventy years are over my king. Seventy years since I was taken from the land of my birth. Babylon has been punished. You have punished her. Only one thing remained. For you to free her. O oh, king, the words of the scroll are in its own foreign press. Should we not at least confirm them? No. Oh, friend, have you heard nothing? Do you not recognize the truth when you hear it? Or do you suppose this Daniel has spent a lifetime arranging events in the hopes of one day deceiving me? Your God has called me a shepherd, and so to your people I shall be, to rescue them from wolves and tyrants, to gather them gently, and to relieve them from bondage and provide for their return. And so say I, Cyrus, king of the Persians, let Jerusalem be rebuilt. The Lord God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and has appointed for me to build a temple in Jerusalem in Judea. Any one of his people among you May his God be with you. Let him go to Jerusalem and Judea and build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel. In all my years, I had never known envy. But that day, I came closer to tasting it than I ever have. For I would never see the temple I so yearned to see. However, my heart was joyous as my brothers and sisters departed on their journey home while I remained in Babylon, awaiting the day when I too would be gathered to my ancestors. And remember me also, O oh Lord, and show mercy according to your great love.